Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're going to be learning about comparing strings in Java and whether you should be using the equals equals or the dot equals method. Also, if you want to learn everything you need to know about Java, I have a full Java course linked down below. Let's start off by making a new Java project. We'll call it compare strings, hit finish. We'll make our class and we'll call it strings are fun. Hit the main method and finish. There are multiple ways to compare a string in Java. You could use the equals equals operator, or you can do an equals method like this. And there are different instances where you use both. So let's make a couple string variables here. Let's say string A is equal to lemur. And we'll say that string B is also equal to lemur. Let's compare the two with an if statement. We'll say if A equals equals b then we'll print out we'll print out true otherwise we'll print out false save and run we have our string a equal to lemur and another string b equal to lemur and we see the result is true when you create strings like this where you have the double quotes on the right side you can compare them using the equals equals operator, which is read like this. The string lemur that's stored into A is equal to the string lemur stored into B, which results in true. So we run this code, which is print true. However, there is a second way to make strings. Since a string acts like an object, you can make it like an object. You can create any object in Java like this, new string. When you create any object in Java, it'll have this format the name of your class on each side, new, and then the name you want to name the object. This is what's called the constructor. It's the class name with some parentheses here. Whatever has parentheses like this is a method. So the constructor is just a method that helps you make an object. And it just so happens that with string, we can put double quotes inside of the parentheses to make a string like this. If we have both strings with this format, and then we try to do a equals equals b, we'll see that the result is now false. That's because you can't compare two objects with this equals equals operator. I know it's a little confusing, but basically when you have strings that are made like this, you have to use a string method. So let's take our string object A, for example. A is an object, which means it has variables and methods that it knows. If you put a dot after it, you can see all the variables and methods that it knows. And in this case, we have a bunch of different string methods, but we're going to write one called equals. We can learn more about this method by hovering over it, and it gives us a little description. But basically, it says that we can put a string object inside of these parentheses and compare A to the one that's in the parentheses. So we can put B in here to see if the string A is equal to the string B. So now if we save and run, we'll get true. Technically, A and B are different objects, but they have the same string content. And that's what this dot equals method checks for. So if this was dog, save and run, it would be false because the string dog is not equal to the string lemur. However, if they were the same again, it would be true. So again, if we tried to do A equals equals B, this would be false because this checks if it's the same object. This A variable holds a string object, and this B variable holds a string object. However, when you create an object like this, it's new and unique. So technically, A is storing a different object than B. There's a new string object into A, and a different string object into B. So that's why when we do is A equal to B, it returns false, because A is a different object than B. We could do is A equal to A, and it would be true, because they're the same object. I hope that makes sense. Now let's do some other examples here. Say we have string A equals new string dog. We can do is A equal to dog, like this. Save and run. And we get false, because A is a string object, but dog is like this string text. And that's one of the really confusing parts about strings. However, again, if this was just the text dog, 
then that equals equals would work as expected. So if you're not sure which one to use, do the dot equals method because this will check the actual text instead of the object. And then also a little bonus tip, if you have like something that has like different uppercase and lowercase, what you can do is do another string method to say a dot to lowercase, which will make sure all the characters are lowercase. And then on top of that, we can do dot equals the expected text. And so this would be like dog f id space in lowercase. This is actually used a lot in the real world to ignore the case and check if it's equal. The reason we can do a dot to lowercase and then a dot d equals on top of that is because a dot lowercase, this method, returns a string. So technically, this whole highlighted section is a string. And since it's a string, we can use methods of variables on it, which is why we can do a dot after it to bring up those variables and methods. And in this case, we're using dot equals. That's why you can have multiple methods tacked onto each other with a dot. So that's when to use equals equals versus dot equals. So I hope this was helpful. Again, if you wanna learn Java, everything you need to know, I have a full Java course linked down below. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.